We've had a, uh, a headline cross the Bloomberg terminal just within the last few minutes that according to the Russian Foreign Ministry, uh, Foreign Minister Lavrov and Secretary of State Pompeo have spoken about Venezuela. Since the time of President Monroe, the United States has not taken kindly to European powers intervening in this hemisphere. What do we know about the, what the Russians are up to down there? Well, uh, look, I, I think Madero made a horrible mistake uh, for his own personal safety yesterday. Uh, he uh, was reported to be ready to leave, and with encouragement from the Russians, uh, he did not. Uh, we have the Monroe Doctrine. It is alive and well. Uh, it is uh, embraced by uh, virtually every president, every administration since it was put in place. Uh, we believe in it. And I think uh, listening to a foreign power like that from uh, out of uh, this uh, Western Hemisphere and acting on their directions is a big, big mistake for Mr. Madero. It is clear what the United States policy is and has been for some time that Mr. Guaido is the legitimate president and he should be in power down there. But what is a practical matter are our options, the United States options in effectuating that? Well, first of all, the United States, as we've said clearly from the beginning, we stand with the Venezuelan people. They use their constitution to make a change in their uh, regime uh, there in Venezuela. And uh, Juan Guaido is the president of Venezuela. He's recognized as such uh, by us as Americans. Mr. Madero is not. And uh, as a result of that, what we want to see is we want to see a, uh, a peaceful transition of power. And uh, that has been so far to, uh, to a large degree taking place. Uh, but when you have uh, Mr. Madero being directed by a foreign power out of this hemisphere, uh, he needs to really reevaluate what that does for his own personal uh, health and welfare. Mr. Guaido, thus far at least, has been free uh, to, to move about in Venezuela. But what are the risks for him personally, both in terms of his personal freedom, but even his safety? Well, uh, as uh, uh, these things go, obviously there's risks for him. Uh, his, uh, 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 Mrs. Guaido was here in the United States Capitol and we met with her. She explained to us what they've been through uh, and she brought some others with her that, uh, that have had personal difficulties there. So yeah, that is that is difficult. These people are, are real uh, heroes and patriots in Venezuela for what they're doing. Uh, again, uh, these things are moving very quickly. As you've said, it's very fluid. Uh, this cannot go on. Mr. Madero is through there. And the sooner he embraces that idea and, and finds an exit ramp, uh, the better off he's going to be, the better off Venezuela is going to be, the better off the Western Hemisphere is going to be.